Hi there, Cancer. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your love reading for July 11th through the 31st. This is intended to be a love reading. We're going to see what comes up for you. This is for the sign of Cancer. Thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, commenters, likes, and bookings. I appreciate that. Oh been sticking it out have you been sticking it out somewhere you don't really want to be that's what been going on oh. they just want to come flying out it's a big mess huh yeah I feel it it's a big mess how'd that happen anyway Somebody cutting you down or bringing you down. Maybe they're saying things they shouldn't be saying or they're, you know, spreading rumors, saying bad things. It could be a, a air sign. Okay, we have air sign here, air sign here. Here you are. You're going to need time. You need time to recuperate from this. Oh, my goodness. Because it was it was drastic. Holy shit. Oh, so apparently this person, whoever, I don't know, you're, you're, you've been hanging around, you've been hanging around, and you really don't want to be hanging around because somebody has been um, bringing you down. They have been bringing you down, and you're just like, what the hell is this? How, what? I mean, I can't, I don't even want to deal with this, <laughs> you know, and this person likes to fight. This person likes to argue and you do not, you don't want to have anything to do with that. You do not want to argue and, you know, you know, uh, you might have thought that this person was, um, you know, they were fun. All right. They had a, a lot of passion. All right. And they were smart. They were smart. This person was smart. And so, you know, they, you, you fell for them. You fell for them. But the, they're too smart for their own good. All right. They're too smart for their own good. And they're a little bit arrogant and selfish. And they come across just a, too strong for you. They like to argue and fight. And you don't. You don't. You don't want to have anything to do with that. All right. So you need, you're going to, after this, you're going to need some time to heal. All right, you're going to need some time to get your mojo back. All right, um, so you're going to go into a time of um, isolation. That's what I see because you need time to heal and get through this. You know, you just, this is this was a very difficult situation, you know, where you felt this was, it was a lot of hurt, a lot of hurt, a lot of meanness, okay? And it's caused a lot of stress. Oh my God. Because you're such a lover. You are such a lover. You are all about love. And when this person comes at you with hate, you're like, oh, you know, it's like a, wow, what, what the hell is this? And you just don't know how to handle it. You know, you don't, you're just like, whoa, retreat, run. <laughs> Probably an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. It's, I'm be willing to, yes, definitely. I think it is an air sign. Whew. It even makes my heart feel heavy. This is heavy, very heavy. <laughs> and I didn't even I said that before I even looked at this card. Okay, there's too much to carry. You cannot carry it. You can't. All that anger and angst and... Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is what you want. You want a balance of give and take. You want every... You were looking for security. 
you know, and that's what you have to offer. You're looking for that balance, you know, an equal partnership. But that's not what has happened here, unfortunately. Oh, here it's darkness. It's darkness up here where you were, where you were. And you're still, you probably, you're probably still in the darkness right now because this is July 11th through July 31st. So you're probably going through this and you might end up saying, I'm done. I'm completely done because I can't, I've, this is it. It's over. I, this is killing me. Stress kills. That's a killing me. It's killing me. Stress kills. And, and maybe, you know, you finally decide to, to let it go. You know, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to carry this anymore. I'm done. You have these two tens? <laughs> you are. Okay? You're done. So I think something is going to end, and your search will begin for something equal. You know, you're looking for something equal, equal um, relationship. This is a soulmate, somebody that you are connected to. Could be somebody from the past. Could be a new love. It's somebody, it's a new union. Okay, new. I emphasize new union. Okay. Um, but you need to be open to it. Okay, you need to be open. You do need to... Whatever this stress is, needs to go before you can be open to sharing your time with this person. Okay, whoever this other person is. Um, I th they're probably... Um, there's something going on that you're not aware of. Okay? You may have found out about it. Whatever it is, you may find out about it. It's connected to this person. Okay, it's connected to this person. There's something that has become a made. There's no, no longer a secret. This is towards the end of the month. Okay, there's no longer any secrets. It's all out. Um, and you move in a new direction pretty quickly. I think you move by August. This is by the very end of July. This is quick movement, perhaps towards this. away from secrets and lies away from burdens okay you're not hanging around anymore you're finally making a move making a move hopefully towards this which is a beautiful union okay and here you are there's this this person isn't in this lineup okay this person is not this person this is the lineup right here here's you and here's stress, and here's resisting, and here's true love, and it's going to happen quick, probably in August. Here, there was some secrets, lies, uh, craziness, okay, craziness going on that shook things up and really, really caused some despair really caused some despair and probably there's a lot of word a lot of nasty words maybe even abuse verbal abuse mental abuse you know uh, like you know, I'm just about dead here caused from this person male or female okay this is male or female as well all right this is an air sign and look at her red face it's a male or female remember but look at how angry she is she's just like so upset and you're like so calm and poised and you know, you're just trying to offer your heart <laughs> and what you have to offer. You do not want to fight. Or argue about anything. Oh, thank you. Eight of water. Walking away. This is the split. This is the split up here. The f Between the um, 11th and the um, 
19th is the split. A desire to move on because of this craziness. Just been crazy. The search for something more meaningful. Spiritual and emotional growth. The search for something more meaningful. Right here. Right here. These. This one is... Um, the awakening, you know, this is the secret coming out that causes you to walk away. And it's not really a secret. It's not a secret anymore. You got to know this person and um, it's definitely not a secret anymore. <laughs> the truth comes out. It always does. Even though it hurts. It does hurt. Especially when you had good intentions. Now I'm not saying for you to go out there and break up with somebody if you don't want to. This is going to resonate <clears throat> with the people that it is supposed to resonate with. If, if some of this doesn't resonate with you, then check your rising sign or your moon sign. Or po take out what, it, what does resonate with you. Please remember that this is for, what, 20,000 or plus viewers. So to get do a general reading for somebody, it's going to, you know, it's going to be different for every single person. We're all different. We all have free will. We've had different upbringings. You know, we have different signs, you know, different moon signs, rising signs, you know, the rest, all that, different aspects. So it's different for everybody. But this will resonate with a good amount of you, okay? My best advice is, is that somebody needs to go. I see that somebody has been really hurting you verbally or physically or mentally. And I think they have a lot of anger issues. They have a lot of anger issues. And that's killing you because you don't want to argue or fight about anything. It's a very heaviness. There's a big, I feel the heaviness. Okay, you've been carrying this around, you've been hanging on, hoping it's going to change, and just trying to figure out how you got into this and how you're going to get yourself out, you know, with as, as less um, problems as possible. You don't want to argue about nothing. So how can I break this off of this person and hopefully they will just walk away? That's not going to happen, unfortunately. And that sucks. That really does suck. But um, this person doesn't back down. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. You are. Because she, this person will bring you down if you let them. Because you are a lover. You are vulnerable. Believe it or not. And I know you don't probably want to see that or hear that. But you are such an empath. You know, you feel so deeply that they will step on you unless you put your your uh, hand up and say, back up. Uh-uh. No. You're going to have to because it's not going to be a peaceful leaving if unless you make it that way. And unfortunately, you're going to have to stand up for yourself to make it that way because this person will fight to the bitter end. Awakening. Look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. What did I just get done telling you? Look at things from a different perspective. <laughs> this person is angry. The only way that this is going to end is if you put your foot down. I know that you don't want to argue. I know that you don't want to fight about it. I know that you want it to end as peacefully as possible. It's not going to happen. So you might as well just... It's not. She's a fighter. Or he. Alright? And you are the whole package. So for you them to let you go... You know, if you let them go... It isn't going to be easy because you have so much to offer. And they know it, but they, they still want to be in control. And they still are right. And they're never going to change. And they're always, you know, whatever. It's your choice. You do what you want. But awakening is on the horizon. Epiphany. 
when you hit this rock bottom spot spot and this is a love reading in a relationship the only next the next step is to step up it's important to be yourself yeah I knew this one too I just I've already explained this pretty much Ace of Swords, brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning, absolutely. It's going to be challenging. You know, and you can be, just I know that you are as graceful as anybody, more than people. You are so graceful, but you have no choice but to stand up for yourself. None in this situation, none. You have to stand up for yourself. A challenging beginning yes yes mm -hmm. so let's see I want what about the future what about the future let's let's talk about the future here what's about about this down here let's clarify this who's this love right here who's this union I think it's somebody from the past Stop procrastinating. Yeah, yeah. Stop procrastinating up here because you don't want to miss out on this. You're procrastinating. You're procrastinating because you don't want to fight, because you don't want to argue. Well, love is down here. Down here. Do you want it? Real love. Somebody who's going to honor you. I'd like to know the sign of this person, this new person, the sun sign. That would be nice. Got this one twice. Expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Sleepless nights. You need to get rid of that person. Here you are again. Twice. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. You ha it's, it's you here twice. You're so expecting the worst that you might not even see this coming. You might not even see this opportunity because you've been so broken down. Oh. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Do it to others. Just because somebody has uh, damaged you just because somebody has hurt you with their nasty words or whatever it is doesn't mean that you can't just open your heart and mind to somebody else. Do not expect the worst with the next one. Oh, here we go. That's probably, it's probably a, a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo woman who's independent. Woman or man, okay? Because we were looking for the sign. Could also be another water sign. Um, but I don't think so. I think this is your energy. These are your energies. We were asking for the sun sign. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Somebody who is, um, they're now connected to you. They, um, they can take care of themselves. They're very grounded. They're gentle. You know, they... They're the earth mother. They're beautiful. Okay? They they don't like to fight either. That could be your partner. It doesn't have to be a pentacles. It can be somebody who acts like this, who is very grounded, kind, generous, motherly, spiritual, uh, secure. But this person is not attached. This is the single. This is the single uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo who is... Um, taking care of herself. Well, that's good. You don't want somebody who's attached, right? A lot of people do. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see what we can get for these romance cards. I say whatever pops out of my mouth. That's how they they trust me because I don't I don't you know try to pretty it up or anything. I say exactly what comes to me, and they continue to talk to me all day long, all night too. Well, isn't this just perfect? This is your first step, step number one. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Did you see how that jumped out? I didn't make it fall out, it jumped out. Free yourself. That's step number one. Between the 11th and the 19th, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's up here. Okay? Ah, this one's going right here. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Once you free yourself, your love life starts to change drastically if you do not expect the worst. You cannot expect the worst. You have to be open to it. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Seriously, do not expect the worst. It, you, this person could be your, could be the one. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo could be another one, but I don't think so. I see, that one wants to come out too, but it's too many. I don't want to do that. Can you give me another card, please? Okay. <laughs> This is a good one. Do it. Do it. This will this will start to change things very quickly. Once you start to flirt, your your mojo will come back. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energies to others. Do it. Maybe you need to flirt with this person? I don't know. I still think it's a past life relationship. I do. I don't know why I think that, but I do. I'm not, I don't, did I say past life? I meant to say a past, you know, a past relationship. I said past life, though, didn't I? That's funny. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So if you don't have a religious factor, this card, you can just take out that. Your love life is influenced by your upbringing and path. You know, but if it, it can be spiritual, okay? Your love life is influenced by your upbringing and your path, okay? Your path may have... Um, It is. I just got done saying about a past life. Oh, I just got done saying about a past life. Your love life is influenced by your upbringing and path. Your past life paths. Okay. That's where that's why you've gone through everything that you've gone through to get to this person. One more. This one's going right here. It is. I see it. I believe it. I think so. I do. 
I think it's somebody from the past. I don't care what anybody says. I do. I think that's what it is. Okay? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Could be a past life because that came out of my mouth. Um, but I think it's a soulmate. It definitely is. I think it's a soulmate. I hate to cover the card up because I think it's going to happen quick. Beginning of August. Because you deal with all this shit up here and you start to flirt and then it just develops into true love very quickly. That's, it all depends on how you stand your ground and your free will. Okay? And if you really are ready to make changes and um, be with the one. I mean, if you need to open your heart and your mind, no more um, expecting the worst. Stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for yourself. Do not get stepped on. Um, this is the romance of a lifetime. So like I said earlier, take out of this what resonates with you. Okay? If some of it doesn't resonate, but some of it does, then that's the part that was meant for you. Um... Thank you to everybody that has commented and come into my um, channel. I really appreciate that. I will talk to you soon.